All right, guys, this is Chris Beck with the Back Table team. I'm going to show you guys how to mix up some Imbozine. So, um, we have some 400 micron uh, beads from Boston Psy. As you can see, the beads are color coded. So, um, these are 400 microns. So, it's uh, 2 mLs of beads and 5 mLs of saline. And if you want, if you have your beads out, you can go ahead and make a little kickstand and get the beads to settle to the bottom. And basically, what you want to do is just take off this cap. And uh, one of the things I should mention is I have a little embolic towel, so I'll set aside like a towel of embolic that'll have a little bit of contrast, some saline, and all the syringes that I'm going to use uh, for my embolic. That way I can treat my embolic station as all the stuff that we use for embolic in terms of flushes and contrast, and then you have a whole separate station that you'll use for your diagnostic angiography. Um, I'm going to be mixing between the two just for simplicity. All right, so the beads are set a lot, settled down. And so basically, you're just going to purge out the air. The plunger sticks a little bit for your very first go. And so you just go ahead and purge out the air. And then connect the three-way stopcock top here. Again, purge out a little bit of saline so you can just get rid of the air. And then you'll take five or six cc's of contrast. And as you can see right now uh, with the beads, they're all going to layer in the very dependent portion of the solution. Uh, saline, the more saline you add, the more the beads will sink. The more contrast you add, the more the beads are going to float. And so we want to try and get these things to hold right in the middle of the suspension. So we're adding some contrast. Right in the middle there, so we've added about 5 cc's of contrast. As you can see, that's kind of making the beads float. So we'll take a 3cc syringe, which we can use to deliver the embolic, put in a little saline. Again, in a situation where you want to purge out a little bit of the air, yeah. throw in a little bit of saline, then agitate between the two. And you should get your beads to be able to hold right in the middle of the suspension. Maybe a little bit towards the top. I'm going to push those in. If they're going to the top, Add a little bit more saline, agitate, you should be able to get those beads to fall right in the suspension. Now you may want to change this depending on the size of your patient and how visible it is with the amount of contrast. So um, always agitate your beads and as long as your beads are nice and agitated, whenever you're delivering the embolic you should be fine. So if you have to go a little bit heavier with the contrast and they're settling to the top, that's fine. Um, because you may have to sacrifice like the perfect suspension for better visibility uh, depending on your patient's body habitus. And that's it.